and his dwelling was with the wild asses, Man. they fed him. They fed him with grass like oxen. And he ate grass and shit, man. It's crazy, man. And his body was wet with the dew of heaven. So he's just out there just ass naked too. Like days. I'm just thinking the days, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. Till he knew that the most high power ruled in the kingdom of men. Woo! So right. until he knew and acknowledged that Yahweh ruled in the kingdom of men. And he was get, giving back his, his throne. Yeah. And this is a, a, an Assyrian. A heathen. And all the heathen kingdoms acknowledge our power. Even Alexander, we can acknowledge our power, man. He acknowledged it. Go ahead, I And that he appointed over it whomsoever he will. So he appointed over it whomsoever he will. Right. The Lord gave Nebuchadnezzar his throne as king. And then he set up. Daniel and the three holy sons to be on his council to let him know what it was. Well, I... And thou, and thou, his son, O Belshazzar, which was his grandson, has not humbled thine heart, though and, thou knewest all this. Now, ugly ass Esau knows all the history and the relics and everything. He know Mount Sinai is burnt at the tip. He got the fucking chariot wheels for his bones and shit in the fucking sea where we cross. He know all this is real. Like, God damn. Snap, this really happened. But yet, you know, Lord is just like Belshazzar knew about what happened to his grandfather Nebuchadnezzar. And still, he is moved with pride. Yep. Like, he, he watched the apostles, man. I'm so the, 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 the heads of great millstones, these elites, these uh, so called presidents, these niggas that's really in power, they watch brothers' videos, man. You peons may not understand because it's so, it's, it's above you. It said wisdom's too high for but hey, they, they understand that, man. Like, can the top scholars that uh, apostles always went into, how the top scholars on this earth are going into this truth. That, that's that's what they come to after all the knowledge of the world. They, they put all that to, shit the fuck off. They have to and come they, back to the truth. They've, they've ended up at this. Oh, man. It's the peak of knowledge. Ooh. They're like, they're they're running, they're running around. The president of the universe and the thorough knowledge. Right? The thorough knowledge of the Bible is better than the college education. Yep. And it's funny because they eventually gonna have to come to the men of the Lord. Just how Belshazzar was like, man, who can read this inscription? Exactly. Shit, yeah. ain't yeah. nobody interpret it. Yep. Who, who can interpret? There's one Daniel. <laughs> he used to interpret dreams for your father, <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar. And that's who is about to break this down. Who can break down what's going on with the supply chain and the war and all that? Oh, the men of the Lord. That's right, it, man. Hey, so lucky. When you go into the word, uh, word, that's powerful in itself, cause that covers all words, you know. Hey, word. Hey, you know how Jake say word to you. Yeah, like, word. Hey, you know, everybody and their mama know about this word. But has lifted up thyself against the Lord of Heaven. Woo! Did, did not Esau either do that? He have done that. Go ahead. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou. Oh, and thy lords, thy wives, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them, Ooh. and thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold. Now, and those are the actual vessels used in the temple for the worship of our power. But where are the vessels now? What is the true treasure of Yahweh Shemashai? Didn't he say it in Joel 3? He said, you took my goodly and precious things. That's us. We're the goodly and precious things, and they have put us in their fucking lands and shit. To serve them. And then the, the people, our people with the juicy juice, yeah, they threw. But you have abused the people of Yahweh Shemashai. They don't belong to you. So now the Lord's right. gonna he gonna kill them, but he gonna kill your ass for touching them. It's like this nigga, Belshazzar, used our vessel to drink wine and shit in them when they were used for the worship of our power in the temple. So the Lord killed his ass for that. But how much more us, the people? Boys could really kill this damn demon Esau. Right. He right. took away the God. You can never take it away. Completely. The Lord have allowed you to take it away. He tried to attack him. It's right. But he he they going directly to hey, right. oh, damn. This dude is a demon. But the Lord, he set it up. He said, go ahead. Go ahead. I gave you two thirds to do what you want with him. But the elect, you cannot touch him. Touch him. Go ahead. Of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know. And the power in whose hand thy breath is, and whose all thy ways 
hast thou not glorified. Right? So because they, they worship wood and stone and all this shit. Uh, have faith in, in, in the jazz. Uh, 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 have faith science. in science. Technology, Fuck yeah. Fuck out of here, man. Who created science? Damn, asshole. And what did the Lord say? So I gave an earth for the use of man like the grasses for the beasts of the field, man. But yet a dummy gonna fucking tell you, E, this clown, he's eating fucking his grandmother's brains out of his skull not even long ago. But you listening to this damn demon? Boy, who you gonna listen to? Hey, even he know he can eat too. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, Kevin's out of line. He's trying to convince the world that the earth is actually like bad and shit. Climate change. Oh, yeah, he's saying that. Cows need to all die and shit. Yeah, he accusing the animals. Yeah, he's accusing the earth and all kinds of shit. Everybody but him. Everybody but this nigga, man. Then was part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written. And this is beautiful because it was sent to ancient Babylon, Neo Babylon. And then through the CERN in 2017, brought up by uh, Elder Barack and other brothers, that they was trying to tap into them portals and shit. And then a, a writer came through the portal and told them something. It told them what? It told them they they tech tech through or for Quall in the heat. Oh shit! They just seen them characters. And what that means? Wave your ass in the balance. Through. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the writing that was written. This is the writing. Mene, Mene, Tekel, of Harsin. Woo! This is the interpretation of the theme. Yep. Mene, the Most High, have numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Woo! Now, now they got that. They got the quarrel in 2017. Damn, 2020 came in. World is dope world is through that was a very little time like lord numbered this kingdom is over yeah. at that point yeah, three years like, it's Man. through after that right but look at look how far it has come since then to now whole new world whole right. new world right like it said uh from 2017 to 2020 it was three years bro three years bro. which was what was understanding yeah so people didn't understand right what was go ahead to tackle that's what they received in, in the sermon the qual which means they wanted Lacking, you're deficient through. Right? Thou art way in the balances. Hey, hey the Lord's like, okay, I'm gonna weigh you in the balance, but go ahead. And art found wanting. You're found lacking or deficient. So the Lord's like, nah, you ain't you ain't holding up. It's hard, man. You ain't got it. And then the Lord is, is shortening the time. That's why the days are speeding up, so he can bring this this MOTB. And once the MOTB comes out, then the war is gonna begin. And once the war starts, it's over. Then y'all shy is on his way. And it's gonna right. be death and destruction and plague and sedition right. and all that in the midst of it. It's gonna be hell. Hell on earth. That's right. right. That was it? Yes. That was it. Got, I got the medieval times. Kind. Yeah, bring that word out. Medieval. <clears throat> medieval definition? Yep. Yeah. Um, there well, it is. Well, we're related to the Middle Ages. Yes, yeah, it says of of or relating to the Middle Ages or of relating to a period of European history from the AD from about AD 500 to about 1500 really is like 325 to about 13 like 1300 but it, it, yeah but it, it expanded even beyond that but uh can you get like the uh the etymology I know it means something else But hey, can you bring you got it? Oh, yeah, I got that uh, medieval in the Edamon. It says, pertaining to or suggestive to the Middle Ages, it says, the Middle Age, vital force, life, long life, eternity. A vital force, long life, eternity. Damn. Hey, because really, I forgot what the apostle said, but it's the middle of what? It's the middle of the return of the Lord because you got AD. And somebody can look up AD. Because you gotta remember, uh, if you ever watched the Black Knight, and um, he's like, uh, he's like, what day is it? Or he's tripping. She's like, you read the medallion. He's tripping. And he's like, it's uh, he's like, some, some September uh, the 21st. She's like, yes, uh, well, uh, messenger, it is the 21st. He's like, 2001. She's like, no, it's the year of our Lord, 1328. Oh, shit. The year of our Lord, 1328. They knew the Lord was coming back, but it was the middle of the 
Lord's return. It still had the span of history to come. Prophecies had to come into play before the Lord was going to come back. But this is the end. So this is the end here. That was the middle of the return of the Lord. They always said each year was the year of our Lord. There it is right here. Go ahead. Huh? This is the AD abbreviation for Anno. Uh, oh, Anno do Domini. Homo Domini. In the year of the Lord. The year of the Lord. It says the using used to show that the year is after the year which Yahweh Hamashiach is throughout is thought is thought to have been born in the 12th century AD Roman Empire ended. So I, I just wanted that Anno Domini it says in the year of, of the, the Lord. Lord. So in the year of our Lord. So our people, you know, they was bugged out, but they was always looking for the Lord's coming. But the thing they didn't understand was prophecy. That's the thing. If you you cannot measure the times without measuring the signs, that's why we're closer than ever before. That's why the apostles say that we have 100% truth. Beginning with this, we have 100% truth to know what these scriptures are talking about that pertains to salvation. We don't need to tell you that David Sandals was blue or whatever. It don't really even matter. What pertains to salvation is the name of Yahweh, the name of the Son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And you gotta know what's coming. And That's we have right. to tell you what's coming so the blood can be wiped off our hands. Like, you know, can a brother get Ezekiel real quick? Ezekiel <clears throat> 33. That's right. some real quick. Oh, yeah, Bob, we shall bring out that line in the sand and get the actual place in the Maccabees where they made that line in the sand for entire kids of Tiffany. Scripture behind that, uh, which is certain. Okay. So scripture is last round. And can a brother quickly bring out a measured out of time, real quick, really? diligently? We got it. Because now we went into the year of our Lord. And yeah, we know that the right Middle right. Ages been passed, right? Uh -huh. But we still in the year of our Lord, right? Uh -huh. Hey, that's what the apostles been saying. Like, hey, hey, this is uh, 20, the year 21 year of right. hastening right. to the coming of Yahweh uh -huh. Shemel uh -huh. That's beautiful that the apostles even brought that out. That's beautiful to know. Yeah. Who the fuck, who the hell knows AD? You know, you know BC before uh, my shot. The AD. You're looking for it still. Right. He coming back. I got some. Go ahead, I this is Revelation 19 and 10. Woo! And it says, I fell on his feet to worship him. Now, this is John the Revelator. Yahweh Shai is faithful. If you know the scriptures, you know where it says that at. Like, okay, the one that Yahweh Shai loves. Laid on his bosom, you know exactly yeah. what that is. Go ahead, I and it says, I fell on his feet to worship him. That's right. And he said unto me, seest thou, seest thou do it not? Yeah, because when you see the angels, it's like, they so glorious. You already bowing down. Therefore, you know, Joshua did that. But the angel that he bowed down to wasn't just a regular yeah. angel because the angel didn't tell him to get up. Nah. And not worship it, but you know, I was shy, right? <laughs> but this particular angel is another angel. Like, no, don't nah, worship me. Good. He going to tell you what, he, what you're supposed to do. Go ahead. I Says, fellow... I am thy fellow servant. Woo! He said, I'm your fellow servant. And of thy brethren. And of thy brethren. It makes, it makes you to know that the angels look just like us. Woo! The Israelites. Like, oh, bro. I, bro, I, so fat, man, I had a, um, I had some work got to my house yesterday that I'm renting. And I was talking to two young Jank Israelites. I mean, just Israelites. And uh, one of the brothers, one of the guys said, he was talking about the aliens. Right? And I said, the aliens, the aliens look like you. And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he, it blew him back, but he believed it. Yeah. Hey, that's not far-fetched, because even in a lot of uh, modern so-called alien movies, they show aliens as just looking like people. Yeah. Like, uh, for an example, Star Wars. Yeah. They would be considered aliens. Right. Yeah, you know? Like the Jedi, they always call them right. Oh, that movie, Doom? Uh, Doom? Doom, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they was coming from different worlds and shit, trying to conquer that, that planet. Superman is a so-called alien. alien. Yeah. Hey, like, hey, that's why you brothers gotta check out that Superman Lord. He's like, they are his people. He would choose his kind. Yo, man, kind. Every time, man. Hey, that word alien just means stranger. Yeah. Yeah. Foreigner or traveler. Yeah, yeah. So he saw, he put these images up of blue, green people and graves and shit to distort you. Right. But you would think they really are, yeah. you know? Those are demons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Esau, he calls Issachar a legal alien. And it's beautiful because when you break it down to the northern kings, like, well, 
ugly ass uh, white man, so called, he called you an alien? Are you a fucking big ass green person? Shit, you crazy? Like, no. Then why the hell you an alien? Like, <laughs> they had to look up the world. Oh shit, he's traveling on strength. He's just a stranger. 